YouTube. Oh, YouTube channel. Oh, fair enough. Do you want to talk? I, sure, I don't mind. What are you doing here today? Um, I was just chilling, but obviously uh, me and my mates found out that, um, well, Drag Queen was meant to come read it. And we found out that they've come here protest against it um, and just started like shouting and that. So we've just come here to sit in support, to be honest. You're in support of the Drag Queen? Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, you don't see anything wrong with it? No. How much thought have you given, have you given it? I've given it quite a bit. Like, obviously, like it's new, and I do understand why they're a bit upset about it. But why? Why, time, why would you say? What? What? What do you think is the reason that people are upset about this? It's new, and they don't agree with it. Do you know like, why they don't agree with it? They think it's wrong. They think it shouldn't happen. Do you know but, why they think that though? Um, I'm not too sure. Like, obviously, a lot of people have grown up in the past where it's not been legal. It's been deemed wrong through like obviously what has, sorry? like gays, drag, yeah, stuff like that. I don't think drag was ever illegal, was it? It wasn't. It was frowned upon. They were getting beaten up and stuff. Like, obviously, like, old, like. But you do, you do ago. understand. In the 80s, there was a lot of men dressing up in, in heavy makeup. No, yeah. no, not grooming. They were. No, they, we was just, we was literally just talking about it. Yeah. There, there was a music scene called the New Romantics in the 80s. Yeah, I've heard a, of them. And men used to wear really heavy makeup yeah. and dress in drag, oh, and it wasn't really. It wasn't. What the fuck? It wasn't. It wasn't really. Yeah, there's it a is. Comic Con kind of thing going on up there, like a. Big C's got their own comic con up there at the moment. Right. So. Back to the future, baby. George, man. No, it's fine. I respect that. Go on, go on, go on. Alright, so the point I'm trying to get to you, like, you're saying that these people are from the Stone Ages and it's different. I know you didn't, there's as many words, but you say from history, from history perspective, it's, it's changed, it's different. It's, but my yeah. argument to you would go. Like it isn't, it isn't new. People used to dig it. Yeah. But it was age appropriate. It wasn't aimed at children. Do you, yeah, I, just, I understand that. And like obviously it's just been more accepted as like obviously cultures change. Like the younger generations obviously embraced it a lot more. And do you know why and that is? Well, we just think it's quite cool. We find it like interesting and like nice. Like we don't see it as like an issue. We see it as like something like cool. We find it pretty. Like we think right. it's Right. So uh, if so just to, so I can get some sort of understanding. Is there an infinite amount of genders? Um I guess it depends on your perspective. Like I understand well, on your like, perspective. Trans, I understand transgender and non-binary. Like if you don't want to identify as like, that's fair enough. I see no harm in that. You see no harm in that. What about putting that on children and giving them the, the opportunity to understand that sort of thing at such an early age, don't you think that would be detrimental to their health? I think a little bit of awareness, not like pushing it on them, but a little bit of awareness, just so they know it's like, if they want, like, because I've, I've, I've had younger siblings and like, I've known, like, youngers that felt more comfortable in, like, dresses and, like, love like, like dressing up in dresses, but my family were against it, my mum anyway. But so you, but, like, but, yes, but you, you do understand what it's like having siblings. If you've yeah. got an elder sibling, you look up to that sibling, and you want to emulate that sibling. Yeah. You do understand that, don't you? Yeah, it's not, a, it's not about being confused about your gender. It's about wanting to be like your elder sibling. You do I understand think it's that, right don't you? For them to just like try it out and embrace it and see what they. Yeah, but but, but you're saying, you're, but you're trying to say, you're saying about your own personal experience. Yeah, you're saying your younger, si your, your younger siblings. My brother wanted to join us for one point. Right, but this is my point. Like you're his elder sibling. Yeah. He looks up to you. Wants to be like you. It's not about being confused about the gender, it's about wanting to be like the elder sibling. To be honest, I never wore dresses. Right. So it was just, he was just curious. You are just curious? Yeah, and I see no harm in that. Like, if they want to try something, let them. It's not going to hurt them. I mean, like, obviously at like, a young age, like, they're going to they're gonna want to explore things. It's not a definite. They might not stick with it. It's just, let them try it out. But do, how old do you think a child should be before they start exper experimenting sexually like because to have a sexual identity i would argue you'd have to be a sexual you don't have to be a sexualized being i believe like sexually like sexual experience wise you'd have to be at legal age 16 but i believe like if you have a crush on a girl at a young age everyone has crushes it's fine do you know who john you know money is no that's where that's where the term gender identity got got, got coined from a, a gentleman called well i shouldn't say a gentleman a man called john money should look into him. Yeah. He was actually a paedophile. He was actually a paedophile. On record, recorded paedophile. Yeah. So this that's where all this has actually started. If you look into the Frankfurt School, all of yeah. that sort of stuff, this is this is like you're saying, there's cultural differences, this but this is an attack on British culture. I mean it's always been a part of Britain. It's just been more under wraps. Right, but what of, but but where, where they're trying to bring it onto the children. I can't understand, like, obviously... Oh, it's at, the innocence, they're age. after the innocence, yeah. I've seen kids in there going in there that are two, three years old. Then you can also argue, most children are brought up thinking they have to, like, like, straight is 
the only thing they can be. I don't think that's true these days. Like, not these days no more, no, because obviously there's more, like, people show... I don't think there's more. half as much homophobia as people try to make out. There isn't a lot. There is still some, especially for, like, teens and stuff. Like, so, I've personally, I'm bisexual, right. so I go both ways, and I've experienced a fair amount. Like, I've been told it's disgusting, it's wrong. I've been told that it's not... Like, I'm not bisexual, I can't be. I'm not allowed to be. I have to pick one side. Being a bit greedy, ain't ya? Uh, <laughs> what can I say? If I can have both, why not? <laughs> so but, you're not you're not religious at all? Um, more of a pagan than anything. More of a pagan? Yeah. You're into that druid stuff, eh? Yeah. Okay, what about the the sort of average demographic here? You think any any of the people that are pro drag queen, do you think any of them are religious at all? Oh yeah, I know like Christians who are all like who support it and don't mind it. I know a few Muslims who are completely accepting of it. Really? Know, yeah. And it is. It's more of a, like, a generation thing, I believe, because like the one like the religious people that I know who are supporting of it, most of them are like within Gen Z, like twen like low twenties and like younger. But I do know a few elderly who are like, yeah, no, it's fine. I accept that. Like my nan, she's um, she's baptized. She's quite um. um the Church of England. She's Anglican. Oof. But she she's okay with it. Like, I'm sure she would be. She doesn't support. She doesn't agree with like making a massive display of it in front of her. But she accepts it. Like, I've got family that are all Christian. It's my, most of my family's Christian. Like the elderly, but they're fine with it. They accept it. Yeah, I do believe that's because the Christians are taught that hatred and anger and things like that yeah. is not in the spirit of God. It's not. It's not the right thing to do. And Love is what I've also got a Muslim Christian. uncle who's fine with it, he supports it, he doesn't mind it. Yeah? And he's um, over 35, I believe. Oh, he's really? He's okay with it as well. I think it is just a matter of your perspective and, like, obviously your own personal experiences with it. 100%. And it is, I think, largely a generation thing. Thank you. But I think it is just a matter of, like, your personal, like, opinion. Like, some people won't agree with it. And like if they don't, like that's fine. Like obviously some people won't agree with it being in public and out in public because don't want to see it. And that's I agree with that. That's fine. If you don't want, like. But it's the same. It's same. Same goes for. It. Same goes for hetero, uh, heterosexual. Yeah, not uh, everyone wants to see that. No. Out in public. No, and you that's don't. Fair enough. It is. And it's just. I don't know. I guess most of these like drag things and like that are just to. Where most like most of us have grown up with just straight based like learning we've always learned girl and boy or girl and kind of things so it's just i guess it's more of a thing like we're just trying to make it seem the same as straight like same as heterosexual like we want a bit more and like tv just like not main things but little things because obviously you grew up watching tv like when i did it was all straight couples there was no you, we didn't watch much early oaks then oh holly oaks was a different story oh. <laughs> most, <laughs> most of go, the time boys. they were kind of drunk yeah right <laughs> but it is just a matter of like i think it's just a matter of Obviously, it's it's new. It's still like being put like it's only recently been more widely accepted. So it's more trying to just be, break the get ice. included and break the ice. But obviously, it's not accepted. So it ends up in messes like this. But I think it's just a matter of like if you don't want to see it, fair enough. Like with this reading thing, it's not mandatory. Like if some people want their kid to go to it, they can. Yeah, but the child's got no choice in it though. The child's oh, innocent. Well, then explain. Like, they can explain it to the child. Like, they won't have toddlers in there. They, they do. Have, like, they do. Do they? Yeah, three-year-olds, four-year-olds. But this is the point. The child has got no choice in it, have they? The, the no. parents drag. In all, in all, you seem like a reasonable, rational yeah. ad adult, right? So that's what I'm saying. The children have got no option in it. I, I've had one young, one young, one young lad earlier telling me if the child doesn't like it, they can walk out. Well, did the child come by themselves? No. Are they able to I walk out by themselves? The parent kind of explains it to the child, like slightly, in a way they'll like understand and just say like, do you want like ask them? And I see no issue with it. Explain it how, Miss. That it's normal. That this isn't a mental well, delusion. That it's. Well, she don't think it is a mental delusion, does she? Well, it is a mental. I believe. Do you, it's you know what autogynophilia is? Autogynophilia, no. when people they dress up in the opposite sex because they uh, they get off they get off with the fact that people might find them attractive just as the opposite sex. Yeah. Sexual disorder. It's a paraphilia. 
you know. So you're normalising the paraphilia to a child who still believes in Father Christmas and things this like that. This is the point. And you see, they think it's normal. It's not normal. Not that I've got anything against someone yeah. who wants to do but it's not normal to teach a kid that. It's gonna I guess like the way just explain it to a girl, just gonna just, just like a child, things. just be like, there's gonna be a man dressed as a woman yeah. reading stories. Do you want to go see it? Oh well, yeah. And just explain it like that. Just like explain it in a simple term. Like, you don't have to say a it's normal. Don't, don't have to say. Well, we, we don't. We don't know to be completely then I, honest. If they do that, then I see no issue with it. Like I guess if the child's being forced at a young age, and I understand why they're doing grief. But again, it's just explain it to your children in a simple way. Children are a lot more intelligent than you give credit for, and they do understand things better. But they are very impressionable. Yeah. But and so that's one day they might be, want to be a cat, and the next day they might want to be a dog, and the next day they want, might want to be yeah. a girl. And now I so can tell that I identify as cats now, Miss. Yeah, no, I don't. Understand. That's the that's thing. Exactly. So where do we stop? Where do we draw the line? You know, come on. Bro. I've got to go, sorry. All right, listen, thank I'm you very much for your time. Sorry, 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 sorry